In this example, Bob is going to take an IBM I program that was based on the System 36 RPG architecture. First, we want Bob to explain the program, get an understanding of the cycle and the different aspects of this program with the end goal to convert it to an ILE program in a more modern freeform architecture. So first, Bob goes through the process of understanding this program. It creates diagrams of the flow within the specific program. It identifies the screen and display file formats, the indicators, the F keys that are used in the green screen implementation, and tries to provide some understanding to help a modern programmer understand this older version, the difference between subroutines and procedures, for example. It defines the input, the logic flow. All of this information is provided so that the programmer can take a look and understand what's happening. The diagrams show the start, how the flow of the program goes with the cycle, how things are looping, what the indicators mean, what the processing that happens within each of these areas, all of that is provided. The next step is we want Bob to now convert this program to ILE, free format RPG, convert variable names from the cryptic six character length to the more readable self-describing version of things to make it understandable by any developer. Bob goes and creates his to-do list. But before we can go and start writing code, we need to switch Bob from the plan mode into the advanced mode. So we're gonna switch Bob to advanced so Bob can go about writing and creating these programs. First thing Bob's gonna do is create a new externally described display file. Bob understands DDS and can create this display file to help with the input on the green screen for this particular program. Once Bob has finished creating the display file, it'll be time for Bob to go and create the RPG program. This RPG program will be converted from fixed form to free form. Variable names are now self-describing. Subroutines are now created into procedures. All of the normal things that you would expect in a modern program are now part of this transformation period. Once we've reviewed this, Bob's going to go through and do an understanding and double check to make certain things are correct. Bob notices a problem and he goes and decides and asks to correct the problem with the display file and the field references. Bob makes the necessary changes once you approve that action. And now we've successfully created a modern RPG program from this System 36 based application. It'll give you details of what it was done, what was converted, the key features, all helping you understand both how this program works and how Bob moved it into a modern RPG program for our IBM I clients.